Now, Oliver, tell me, but I'm hearing that you're not even a big wrestling fan. How do you end up as Jimmy King and ready to rumble? Um, first of all, I became a big wrestling fan. Okay. Uh, you know, making the movie. Mm -hmm. and, and reading the script brought me into wrestling. I mean, the reason I wasn't a big wrestling fan is because I wasn't in on the secret, you know? I used to flip by, flip by wrestling, and I go, all oh, those poor guys, they think it's real. And, right. and the, of course, they didn't think it was real, and that's why they're having so much fun. Um, and, uh, but I became a huge wrestling fan working on this movie and gained a tremendous amount of, of respect for the tradition and the history uh, of wrestling as well as so all of its, you know, the craft and the discipline of it, too. Now, you're also playing a veteran wrestler, a guy who's maybe washed up, but has been. What kind of research did you do for that? I mean, this really happens in this industry. Oh, yeah. Pro wrestling. I mean, guys like Jake the Snake Roberts, were there some of the older guys that you watched that maybe their career didn't take off, they're not living in a lap of luxury? I, you know, hung out with a lot of wrestlers, talked to them a lot about, you know, about their lives and about what they knew about, you know, a lot of the famous stories. Um, watched a couple interesting documentaries, you know. We used to watch a lot of old wrestling tapes. Uh, there's a, you know, well, really well-known uh, documentary about um, Bret Hart. Yeah. And his, uh, his uh, situation with, with um, Vince McMahon that... Uh, and, 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 you know, this stuff is all really fascinating stuff, and there's a tremendous wealth of information out there. Um, and it's, a lot, frankly, a lot easier to research now yeah. that the cat is out of the bag, you know. It would have been harder a few years ago, I think. Now, how was it for you stepping into the ring as a wrestler, the bumps you had to take, the training you had to go through? I mean, is there newfound respect for these guys oh, that they say wrestling's huge. fake? Absolutely huge, you know. And that's the whole thing, you know. I'm sure you've heard it. It's like fake, yeah. not fake, you know. They yeah. don't like to hear fake, and it's right. not fake. I mean, that to me is where a lot of my respect for just their, their, their physical courage and skill and, you know, grace and athleticism comes from, you know, the, the fact that you don't hear every Tuesday morning that somebody got paralyzed the night before is, is a testament to all that stuff, you know. These guys are phenomenal athletes and performers, you know. Uh, now, what does Oliver take away from this film? I mean, well, how much of Jimmy King is still in you? Can you still cut a good promo for us? Um, <laughs> Jimmy King, well, who, uh, you, you work for WCW? Well, no, I, I worked for them. I've been in the business nine years, so uh -huh. I, I know all the little gimmicks and shits. Yeah, you know, I, I, um, I, I think that this movie is, 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 does right by wrestling, okay. you know? Um, and, and at the same time, it's not real. It's not a movie about wrestling. It's mm -hmm. a movie about three guys, you know. Uh, and it takes place in the world of wrestling. Right. You know what I mean? It's about it's about it's about three losers really, mm -hmm. and how they they kind of go on this journey where they all feel a little a little better about themselves right. at the end of it. Now, now I'm hearing. I, I don't tell anybody. It's just between you and me and the millions of people watching that you really put an ass whipping on DDP during the whole training. That's why he's not wrestling now. That's why he's missed a lot of shows and TV. I mean, I'll, you, you want know, to sign I got an apology. agreement with DDP. I wasn't going to talk about it, but all oh. I'm going to tell you is that it wasn't pretty. I understand. I, I mean, you know, it's like you he's not much my, of a likable guy. Got up knows. in my face. <laughs> What's like working though with Scott, with Scott Kahn and David Arquette? I mean, Great. if you know wrestling and you hung out with these guys, you know what marks are. These guys are obviously huge marks for wrestling. Um, with the marks of the century. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think that's ex a key to the charm of the movie. You know, mm -hmm. is the fact that these guys refuse to believe that it's not fake. There's that great scene where David goes, it's not fake. <laughs> uh, and and uh, that was a blast. They're, they're great, great and really talented kids, you know. And, and they turned me on all the time. They all gave me energy and, you know, made me be better. And, and I had a, a really good time with them. So what, what's, what's this whole thing now? Are you into wrestling? Are you going to follow wrestling? Are you going to start hanging out with the boys more often, get back into the ring, maybe a pay-per-view too? i got three small kids, man. Oh, I mean, all I can right. tell you is that I, you know, I'm using, I use, like, you know, the, 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 my, my kids know that if they don't go to bed, it's going to be suplex time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, congratulations on the film. Phenomenal job. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thanks very much. Can you dig it? Can you dig it?